I'm Coach Morning. I'm Coach Sam, and today's lesson: survival. Now, then you may be asking, survival on what? Well, Dr. Phillips, let's let our guest in. Everybody, ready? Don't hit the teacher. <laughs> for your final exam, which is me hunting you all in the woods. We're going to tell you about survival. Now then, we already talked about survival against bears and wild animals, and for some reason you ever in Canada or Africa. But today we're going to talk about something so relevant to today, it's everywhere. Zombies, video games, TV shows, MMORPGs, musicals, movies, literature, survival guides. Zombies are everywhere, and you can't go around in America without knowing your way around zombies. Now, since this is America, there's one gun per person, we're probably the most equipped besides North Korea to fight zombies. But just in case, no one in this class is going to die against zombies. No, I'm not a witch. <laughs> Thank you, coach. <laughs> now, you know, but before we actually talk about surviving it, I'm going to tell you what are zombies. Now, the zombies go back to West African for Voodoo, or Voodoo, which is practically, you know, they, are, they get summoned up from the grave, and they're slaves. Now then, if any of you went into Miss Trentinelli's classroom over the Humans for Zombies, she put salt everywhere. Salt repels zombies, or so voodoo believes. If you feed a zombie salt, you know, yeah. But the modern zombie comes from 1969? Whenever the year the Night of the Living Dead came up. That's where we get a modern zombie, which is a flesh eater, virus carrier, form of undead, which Unlike werewolves or vampires, isn't living. It's a virus. It wants to consume everything. Vampires and werewolves hunt, but they know they can't hunt the human and humanity to extinction. A zombie doesn't care. So everyone's dead. It doesn't care. It still works. Right? Now we're going to talk about. Now we're going to talk about the types of different types of zombies because you never know what kind of outbreak you're going to get. Some of them you're all dead. You know, I can already tell you that. But some of them you might have a chance. Voodoo zombie, like I said, mystical slave. Not a pay, not a plague or a virus. It can still kill you, but it won't turn you into a zombie. So, next we're gonna go next, the Romero slash orc zombie. This is the most common type of zombie. Slow moving corpse. It's dead, but it can still go oh, and try to bite you. Now then, those are easier to survive if you walk fast or if you're smart, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna get myself, myself get surrounded like I did in the corner. Anyways, that's helpful. Anyways, but yeah, it transmits the virus. The infected zombie. This is the kind of zombie where you where if you don't got good cardio, you're screwed. <laughs> this is like uh, 28 days later, rage virus like Bruh! jaguars running across, you know, open fields, left for dead, you know, zombie land kind of zombies. These these are not really zombies. They're not dead. They're still human because they can still run and grab and do all this kind of stuff. But yet they can still carry infection. But and they're also still carrying so zombies. Resident Evil zombie. This is a wide-ranging zombie, which means it can meet, be many things. As the T-virus, which is what the zombie virus is, grows within you, you evolve into bigger and deadlier zombies. So, but most of them are slow, and then you'll have some of them which can kill you pretty easily, like the Nemesis one. Created by Uncrowler Corporation. And we're using the Resident Evil games, not the movie. movies. Evil Dead zombie. That's demons taking control of dead bodies, and they just work to cause mischief and misery to everybody. If you saw Evil Dead, you know what I'm talking about. Warcraft zombies. That's like undead, like zombies with a high mind. They all love the Lich King, and they want to take over the world by with armed forces. they got abominations and ghouls. Anyways, they're uh, organized zombies. And then we got Return of the Living Dead zombies. This is the comedy zombie. This is the one that wants your brain, but it can still think, it can talk, it can use tools. It's like, oh, you should come over, and I bet that's a delicious brain of yours, which is what the zombies actually say. So that's, those are the kind of zombies you want to be careful for. Very intelligent. But anyways, we're going to use the Romero slash 
books zombie as our name. Now then, the most important area we're talking about zombies is a base. I don't want you guys to go fighting zombies, because that's just asking for trouble. You want to run as fast as you can. It's the military's job to fight zombies, and when they fire or fail, it's still not your job to fight zombies. Only do it when you have to. So, no place is safe, only safer. Max Brooks talks about that in his zombie survival gun, which is a great reference. Can the base be secured easily? Like, you know, can the doors be bolted, locked, covered? Like this room, for example. One entrance. I doubt zombies can fly enough. They do, they have cheating. But yeah, that's a door can easily be covered by chest dude. So, is it in an easily defendable location? That means, like the door. You know, you can just stand there and we all waited for Gabe and we all shot him and accidentally Dr. Phillips. Is it big enough to support the needs of you and your group? Now, this room would work, except there's no food in it, there's no water. We would all have to cannibalize each other in order to survive. We don't want to do that. So you got to think, what's a big enough location for the people to give them enough space so we're all not in each other's face? And also have enough resources for them. Is the location good for your survival plan? That means you got to think in the long run. How long is this base going to last me? Is it going to last me a month? You know, if it's a small outbreak, or is it going to last me my life in case the military fails? Which it should, hopefully. Is the location far enough away from no major human slash zombie activity? Most important rule, stay away from other humans and zombies. If the government says go here, do not go there. Go as far away from it as ever. If it says go to the college and we'll keep you safe, no. Because then everybody goes there. You know who everybody is? Zombies. Zombies will follow all the humans. So you want to go as far away from wherever the government or anybody or police or anybody says for you to go. Find your own base. Which brings us to, now that you know the criteria of the base, <coughs> We're going to pick a base. Now then, I want everybody to grab a piece of paper. Out of all these selections, write down where you would want to go. You guys have 30 seconds. So you guys can discuss it. Yeah, write down which one of these places you would want to go to. And then I'll tell you why you do or don't. Negatives and positives. Dr. Phelps, top of your head, where would you go? A Zeppelin. Why not? A Zeppelin. <laughs> Get away from it all. Good answer. Zeppelins, they're up in the air. They can last for a very good long, long time. When you run out of gas, you're dead. But yeah, Zeppelins can go for a while. Where'd you pick? Jungle. Jungle. Okay. Be aware that have a lot of medical supplies. Now then, she's thinking good. You want to get away from civilization. It's far away from it. Now, find the... Okay, I'm not going to that. Sorry. But yeah, jungles, yeah. Have medical supplies because bacteria grows and be prepared to lose a lot of equipment. You. I also think the jungle actually makes me feel like Yeah, there's a lot. Just watch out for zombies, but they didn't get close faster. You. I. I. Why? Nah, I can't swim. Well, it's good if you go far enough or out. Like, you don't want to go to Shell Island because everybody's going to think the same way. Land screwed, let's all go to the water. Now then, you got to go far, like in the middle of the Pacific, away from everything. Because people, you know, some of them are infected because, you know, we're not going to want to kill our friends, our daughters, or something. You're going to have to make those decisions. Right? Walmart. Okay, Walmart, <laughs> it's defendable. I've actually thought this out. Okay, I'll, I'll call a code at them, we'll lock the doors, and we'll get to the gun safe. It's good, except everyone's going to want to go to Walmart. And by the time you actually get there, it's either going to be covered in zombies, covered with people with guns, which will shoot you. Or, you know, all looted out. You, where'd you go? Canada. Canada. If you go far enough north, you're fine. Yeah. The problem is Canadians don't have guns, so they aren't going to know. <laughs> what about you, George? <laughs> a desert. It's pretty good. No one's going to go for a desert. Just make sure you have water. Arctic tundra. Good idea. Yes. No one's going to go to the tundra. If you make it out there, you're fine. If you survive. But yeah, that's generally where you're going to want to go. These three, I'm glad, who, did anybody pick hospital, police, nation, church, and military base of refugee camp? Anybody? Good idea. You all follow the don't go where people go. Hospitals. Because when somebody's bitten, they're going to want to go to a hospital to get better. And when they die, zombies take about two hours, around two hours to reanimate. So they will be in the hospital more. So they'll come back to life. Hospitals are not your way to go. That and hospitals are defendable at all. Police station. Also, everybody's going to go there. They're going to want to be protected. Police stations have guns, but the police are going to get overrun. 
So you don't want to go there. Church. Now, the churches are actually defendable. Most churches, especially Catholic ones, or most any of most of them, have are able to be, to have riot shields, which means rioters can't get in. Now that would work, except when zombies come alive, people tend to think it's the end of the world, and they're going to go to cry to God or Allah or whoever, and say, "God, please forgive me," and all this other stuff. And that's when the zombies come, not because they're under the control of the devil anymore. Military base. Now then, military base would be a good choice. It's got weapons, you got people who know how to use weapons, and they're supplied for a long time. But everyone's going to go there for safety, so you're going to die. So refugee camp, absolutely not a good idea. So let's see, school's a good option. Like, not Gulf Coast, but like something Mosley, you know, it's fortified and everything. A house, if you can defend it, and if it's away from everywhere else, have it. But the problem with defending a base, if the zombies find out, they're going to stay there. They're going to moan. Every single day. Oh, oh. <laughs> and that's good. Shooting them will just attract more zombies. So, so you're, you're going to go nuts and blow your brain. Okay, office building. Break the, stairs. Wherever you are, you break the stairs. Wherever you are, you break the stairs. Zombies cannot climb. If you break the stairs, you're safe. For a while, anyways. You got to also remember, you got to have enough food and water. When you think Walmart, you got food and water. When you think desert, you don't got any water or food. You just gotta bring it and hunt on. Forest, if it's away from civilization. All these things have to be away from civilization. Zeppelin, good idea. So apartment building, break the stairs. Fast food restaurant, it's gonna all go bad, so you're gonna die. RB, not McDonald's. Zombies. What? I said not McDonald's. Not McDonald's. Wait. Yeah, their food doesn't go bad. Uh, you're right, they continue <laughs> using it forever. Oil ring, that's what I would run away to. Oil ring, because until the hurricane comes and kills me. But, anyways, I'd rather have nature take me than zombies. Airport. Don't go there. Everyone's going to go there because they're going to want to get as far away from the area as possible. And then the zombies are going to follow. The most important thing about this lesson, don't go where humans or zombies are going. So now, now then, any questions on that? We have five minutes. Okay. Well, then, now we're going to talk about the ethics. How many bullets? Now then, Dr. Phillips, I'm afraid, I'm afraid Gabe bit you. And our bullets didn't kill you. Now then, everybody, what are we to do? He's been bitten and there's no telling when he's gonna turn. What should we do? Should we yeah. should we hope that there's a cure, maybe that he's the uh, one out of a million immune ones? Or should we just shoot him now? Shoot him now. Shoot, shoot him, him now. now. I'm sorry, Dr. Fuss. They told me to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Double time! <laughs> okay. It does attract more, but you know, you've got the inf chances are there will not be a cure. If, but, you know, it might not be Dr. Phelps. It might be your son, it might be your daughter, it might be your parent that might die. And then, that might get bitten. And then you got to make the tough choice. Do I kill them or do I just let them be? That's probably the toughest choice. You laugh now. You had a question? Yeah, it attracts more. So melee weapons work, but if you run, run fast, walk fast enough. Don't run. Well, unless you have to walk fast, that'll be enough to get past them. Weapons. I don't know much about weapons, but loud ones generally don't work. Bow and arrows, if you know how to use them, but we will learn how. And yeah, just run. Just like you'll have to do with me. The ones of you who decide to hunt me to fight me, you're smart. If you kill me, yeah. but for the rest of you, I've run into the force. Okay, so does anybody have any questions on anything zombie related? Nothing. Did I was that I that thorough? Do they yes. ever disappear or die because they're already dead? When you shoot, look, as Max Brooks says, zombies are not we are nothing but brains, and everything else is connected to that. So we're nothing but walking, eating brains, and that's something what a zombie is. If you shoot them in the brain, lights out. Hard everywhere else, unless it's a different type of zombie, it won't work. But, yeah, so, if you shoot them in the brain, then they'll die. Okay. Vampire's heart, werewolf, civil bullet. Or burn them. <coughs> Any other questions? I couldn't have been that thorough about zombies. Anyways, please answer incomplete questions. Also, Max Book wrote the Zombie Survival Guide. I would highly recommend reading that. So, um, anyway, no questions? Very thorough. 
Thank you. I've read every single zombie book there is, every movie. If I could major in this time. But anyways, so that's the end of uh, our duet. We'll be hunting each other tomorrow.